Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to the show. It's 1.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My name is Iggy MB5679, and it says get truth or die line. It is truth to die. So, um, I got a few stories I want to bring to you guys real quick. I have two videos in my mind that one of them I've been, pre both of them I've been premeditating for two days now. Um, hopefully the music ain't too loud in this background because I'm in this coffee shop. Hopefully you hear me okay. Um, I got a couple things we need to talk about real quick. I know I probably look tired. I'm tired as hell. I only got a few hours of sleep. You know, I, w I gotta wake up early every day, guys. So, um, you know, I got a lot of sleep to catch up on. Hopefully, I, I just get home and take a nap before we go live tonight. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to go home, take a couple hour nap, and then so tonight live stream, we'll get a food real quick. Now, um, listen, guys. Um, hmm. There's some stuff going on, all right? As you guys know, um, my likes and dislikes last night, something happened. Supposedly there's a bug all through YouTube, okay? I'm not the only one. I've seen other people uh, complain about the same thing. Um, just so you know, there's a fan. There is a John X fan page out there. Um, it has my face on it. It has my videos on it. And it's that weirdo troll. His name is Cozy Cody. <laughs> That's his name. Cozy Cody is his name. <clears throat> Little white dude. Really, really strange. Okay. If you go, uh, well, I'm not sure if we should go on it and view it or not. If we should give it views. I was thinking about just leaving it up instead of filing a complaint. Maybe you guys can give me advice. Do you think I should have it taken down or do you think I should leave it up? He, uh, in the description, he says, making Iggy look silly every day and basically just like really, really on my, uh, uh, obsessed with me, for like, that dude is obsessed with me, like, seriously, like, this is beyond, uh, obsession, like, it's called John X Fan Page, um, so you guys, you guys let me know, should I get it taken down, uh, cause I can get it taken down, he's using my picture as the logo, he's using my, my, two of my videos, I can get it take. I can get the whole channel taken down right now. One, one, one it take me. I can have it taken down by the night. But you guys, let me know. She think I should keep it up. You think it will advertise me? Maybe, maybe we'll bring me advertisement. People will see me more. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, so I need some advice on this one. You know, I think I got. I guess he thinks it bothers me. I couldn't care less how many how, what people do. When people come across me, they know I'm real. You know what I mean? It's not hard to tell. It's real. Recognize real, cozy Cody. Real, real recognize is real, baby girl. Okay. Um, cozy Cody. <laughs> what a cornball this dude is, man. So, um, guys, another thing I was going to touch up on real quick is the drama. Uh, guys, come on now. Let's focus on the let's focus on the good things. Okay, let's focus on positivity. Let's focus on brightness. Let's focus on uh, constructive criticism. Fine, but let's focus on being productive. Okay, you guys can criticize me. That's fine. Do do whatever you want, but I don't want no one's personal information put out there. And guys, I don't want us to argue. Okay, we're you know, our, our, supposed to be a family. Okay, so we need to act like it. Now, families have disagreements. Families argue. I get that. I understand it. So be fine. But um, last two nights I've observed uh, numerous things, and I just want you to know if you're someone that could turn your back on me like that, if you can turn your back on me like that, that means you're never really on my side. So reevaluate the situation. See if you really like me. Are you really on my side? All right. Because if you can just turn on me like that, then you, you most likely you're not gonna be on my side all the time. You know, like that's all I'm saying. Uh, and that's not personally to anybody. Last night, I observed numerous people. Um, I've just observed things. That's all I'm going to say. I just was watching, seeing a lot of things. So all I want to know is, are you ride or die for me like I am for you? You know? You know I come on here and I defend you guys every time I do anything. I'm in your defense. Okay? Even if you're wrong, I'm defending you. I'm on your side still. Even when, you do, even when you're wrong. And... In a couple of arguments with the trolls in the chat, I made that a point that even when you're wrong, I was on your side. So, um, or maybe we need to do this. Stop feeding into the trolls, all right? We could just stop feeding the trolls all together and let them go. 
They can sit there and watch. If they talk shit, we just ignore them. Or we could try to talk nice, kill them with kindness. All right, that's all I'm saying. But I do not want this to be about any type of hateful. All right, please, if you have hate in your heart, let it go. Your life will be, be so much better. It'll be easier, okay? I got enough drama out here in the streets. Like, I got real, real life drama every day. And, you know, I have to deal with that. And I want I come here for, because I'm, I'm comfortable with you guys. I love you guys. It's peaceful. You know, this is like my, my getaway. It's like my peace. So I don't want drama when I come here, you know? And I understand I am inviting that, coming at John when I came at him. I, I get that. That's the trolls, though. I'm talking to you guys. I'm not talking to the trolls. I'm talking to my people. You know, we aren't supposed to be having drama in the family with each other, all right? So any type of beast with each other, squash them. Either squash them on the side, squash them in Discord, or squash them on live stream tonight all together. Look, we're family. We can talk in front of each other. Okay, well, uh, maybe I should tell you what family conference tonight. <laughs> family conference. All right, let's get into the article, guys. Remember, this is Good Truth to Die Line, baby. This is a movement. This is the newest movement on YouTube. It's the strongest movement on YouTube. And trust me, we are a, we are a threat to all the fake truthers. All the fake truthers are seeing us as a massive, massive threat. We're 380 people deep, and they are seeing, well... No, because they're doing something to my subscriber count. So we're 365 people deep. And these YouTube channels are looking up at us as a massive threat because the fake ones know I'm going to expose them. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay. Okay, so Cortez is lone Democrat to vote against the bill to reopen government because it funded ICE. Representative Alexander Okeso Cortez was the lone House Democrat to vote against a bill to fund and reopen the government on Wednesday because it funded immigration and custom enforcement, which she supports abolition. 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 I'm sorry, we wrote words wrong. Sometimes I don't have time to read the, read the article. I just read it with you guys. Like I'm doing too much. I'm just I'm doing too much right now. To be honest with you, I am. I should chill, but I'm not. I'm just not. This not my. I'm, I'm gonna go hard type of dude. The progr the progressive from New York who has built a massive following said she broke from her party because she did not want any funding allocated to the agency which activists have ra railed against over the past year. Several elected Democrats had announced their support for abolishing the agency. Most of our votes are pretty straightforward, but today was a tough noon. Hold up, guys. Yo, sorry guys, people want to be loud and fucking ignorant, ignorant here, man. <sighs> so, most of our votes are pretty straightforward, but today, a tough, nuanced call. She wrote in Instagram story, We didn't vote the party because of the spending bills included ICE funding, and our community felt strongly about not funding that. The bill passed with the support of more than 220 Democrats and a handful of Republicans. It would end what has become the longest government shutdown in history. Roughly 800,000 federal workers are either furloughed or working without pay. But because this funding efforts does not include the $5.7 billion border wall funding that President Donald Trump seeks, the remain there remains little chance he would sign it if the pa if passes the Senate, which also looks unlikely. Okay, so Cortez's vote came after she faced criticism this month for voting in favor of a spending bill that did not include funding for ICE, which is housed in the Department of Homeland Security. I um, apologize for the noise in the background. It's usually quiet in here. It seems like every day when this chick comes in here, she comes in here, she's ignorant, she works in here, and she's just ignorant, screams. It get, This whole place turns into a zoo every time she get, comes in here. All morning, it's been quiet as hell. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to this. If, it, if the audio is messed up, I'll redo it. All right, so I just checked the audio on that first video, guys. I'm going to just let it go. I do get loud when I 
put the mic up to my mouth if it's over. Um, but uh, so this really ain't important. But let me just I'm just gonna show it. This is what I'm talking about. See, John X fan page. As you can see, it has my video up there, my video, and then it has four videos of John X armies. Okay, this is his. All right. And these two are mine now. When I click it, see that's my picture. <laughs> uh, people have no life to do something like this. And then, as you can see, my video. So, anyone that comes across it, it's a hater. Go ahead and sub to this. I might leave it up for a little bit, but it plays my whole video of hair. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't actually sit through there. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah look. This is who it is. This is who it is. See right there. Cozy Cody. I guarantee that's who it is because it's just a coincidence that he found the page. The community of losers, he said. Truce on there. Some dude Joe's on there. I commented. Uh because YouTube said I have to tell them to take it down first before I would put it but then I stopped the report. I'm like, you know what, I'll leave it up there. Now this one, he lets me say something and then he, that part ain't me. That ain't so he like tries to cut it off and make me look dumb. Trying to say I'm wrong. See, making Iggy look silly every day. I published yesterday. So this too. Someone pointed this out to me, I wanna thank you. Uh appreciate you, Jess. What's up, dude? So yeah, I just wanna show you guys that like it's really not important guys. Um I don't wanna focus on that, but it's up to you guys. I need to know the best advice I should do. Should I let it ride, keep it up there for advertisement? It, it puts me and John X Army together though. You know what I mean? So uh, it's just weird. Whoever did that's weird. So anyways, I wanna read a, an article. Military buildup in Arctic has melting ice reopens northern border. Okay. All right. This is this looks like it's uh it gets pretty deep as ice melts and shipping lanes open up. Geopolitical tensions are growing and old Cold War bases are being reopened. Okay. Now with everything going on. Now this, okay, um, you have government shutdown, food stamps, IRS. They're talking about the taxes might be late if they even do tax refunds. Now, <laughs> if they don't reopen the government, the taxes, the IRS ain't going to be getting paid. What if they don't go back to work? That means you don't get your tax refund. So do your tax refunds right now. That's what I would advise everyone and anyone. Do your tax refunds now. Get them put in. Um, this is all point into a bigger picture to me like it's all leading to something they staged this to lead to something something is going to happen i don't know what i don't know if it's going to be big i don't know if it's going to be war i don't know if it's going to be something small i don't know what it's going to be guys none of us none of us do you know what i mean but with that said be on alert stay ready stay prepared prep okay think positive and keep praying please pray Help me pray. Help me think positive. At least, if you don't pray, just help me think positive. Help me help you and help you help me help everyone else. Okay? And that helps myself. <laughs> that makes any sense. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about positivity, man. You gotta think right. You gotta think right, man. I know where the bad shit led me in life. You know what I mean? They won't have me thinking negative, but I know where it led me. But however, the science are pointing, pointing something. Like if it's a collapse, dude, I'm not ready, guys. Like I am not ready. I'm not ready for a collapse. Like me and my family are not ready. And it's just me and my sisters, man. Like, since dude, we're just not ready right now, man. Like. I'll have to turn up, dude. Like, I'll have to be a villain, dude. It's the only way we'll survive if it happens right now. I'll, I'll have to be crazy. I'll have to turn up. The climate crisis is intensifying a new military buildup in the Arctic. Diplomats and analysts said this week, as regional powers attempt to secure northern borders that were until recently reinforced by a continental side division of ice, that so-called unpaid century is now literally melting away 
opening up a sh opening up shipping lanes and geo security challenges said delegates at the Arctic Frontiers conference the polar circles biggest talking shop who debated a series of recent escalations Russia Russia is reopening and strengthening Cold War bases on the Kola Peninsula, the far northwest of the country, Norway, is, in my period, Norway is beefing up its military presence in the high Arctic. Last October, NATO staged Trident Juncture with 40,000 troops, its biggest military exercise in Norway in more than a decade. Okay, now that, that, that right there, that right there is a sign. That right there is telling us something. Last October, NATO staged Trident Juncture with 40,000 troops, its biggest military exercise in Norway in more than a decade. So why are they doing that? Norway obviously sees something, okay? Norway ob obviously they're getting preparing or something. It it's a sign. A month earlier, ooh, shoot, shoot. What I do? Wow. Real quick, guys, I want to show you this. Look at this. Dude, that's a submarine coming through the ice. You know, Navy may deploy surface ships to Arctic this summer as shipping lanes open up. Damn, that was that was sweet. Same article. It was just a different uh it was a different view of the article. Um Sorry, let me find where I was. Okay. Then, after Norway, okay, then Britain announced a new defense Arctic strategy and promised a 10-year deployment of 800 commandos to Norway and four RAF ty typhoons to patrol Icelandic skies. The U.S. is also sending hundreds more Marines to the region on long-term rotations and has threatened to send naval vessels through Arctic shipping lanes for the first time. While these strategic moves... Wow, dude, it keeps flipping to the other view. While these strategic moves have echoes of the Cold War, Cold War the modest buildup falls far short of that era, and there remains a strong spirit of cooperation in many areas. The current tensions are a result of a world warmed by industrial emissions. The Arctic is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the planet, shrinking sea ice and exposing more water and territory to exploration and access. Now, I don't believe in the whole global warming thing. It's geoengineering. Um, the chemtrails. That's global warming, dude. Anyway, look. Something's going on in Antarctica. Something's up. Yeah. All these different countries, I mean, they, they've always been guarding it. We're not allowed there. Dude, we gotta pay attention to Antarctica. I don't care if it's mainstream media or not. I, I don't care in that aspect. Everyone flips their script to mainstream media. They don't pay attention to it, and then as soon as the article is good for their channel, then they're on mainstream media pushing it. So that's why, no, no. when I find something interesting on mainstream, I read it. Regardless if it's fake or not, we need to decipher it together. We need to figure it out together. Regardless, to me, this is a sign that something's going on in Antarctica. Right now, in the, in the whole world, and especially our country. Right now, the reasons we are seeing more military activity and that countries are worried by the specter of open water. One of the speakers, Klaus Dawes, Klaus Dawes, a professor of geopolitics at Royal Holloway, University of London, told The Guardian, the unique Arctic security agriculture has shaped and form that come from natural extremities. If the Arctic becomes just another ocean, this breaks down its elemental. Norwegian tanks during the Trident Junction exercise of two to, on two. Look at that picture. That's, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, pretty cool looking uh, tank, ain't it? Kind of looks like it's like a fast tank, like got speed to it. The Arctic's unique characteristics are under attack from all sides. Below, the once frozen ocean is now mixed with warmer, more saline Atlantic waters.
saline, my bad. In the skies above, the polar vortex above is weakening, allowing intrusions of balmy, balmy, balmy ear currents, ear currents from the south. That part is the shit I don't believe in. But like I always say, there's a little bit of truth in every lie. So if this is one big fat ass lie, there is truth still in it. What do they do? They always tell us what's going to happen before it happens. So you have to pay attention to everything. You can't just pick and choose. You have to be, you, you have to go with everyone's opinion, everyone's point of view, everyone's research. You have to look at everything to figure it out. Sea ice is being lost at a rate of more than 10,000 tones per second, according to the Tor Verviric. Fjord Vic, a professor at the Geophysical Institute at the University of Bergen. We're heading for a new and uncertain, Ar uncertain Arctic with ramifications for nature and politics, he said. We should strive to be less suspicious, less hostile, and more open-minded if we are to deal with a problem that we have so recklessly created. <laughs> Jerry just said, less hostile, more open-minded if we are... To deal with a problem that we have so recklessly created. Right there. By 2035, the Arctic is forecast to be free of ice during summer, which will allow ships to sail across the North Pole. By 2035. Can you imagine that? No ice and the ships can just drive through there. Business interest, business interest is growing. For the first time last summer, a Marirus container ship navigated the northern sea route from Asia to Europe carrying fish and electronic goods. Energy companies are exploring new oil and gas fields. Once remote regions are becoming geopolitical hotspots, Tromsø in Norway, which hosted the conference was once a tiny trading post. Today, it's a tourism hub and a gateway to the mineral-rich north. Now we have a historical strain situation with political and economical activity in the Arctic. So many people are knocking on our door, including business and state representatives from China, Pakistan, Singapore, and Morocco. The mayor, Kristen Romo, told The Guardian, there is also a very obvious increased naval presence. This concerns may this concerns many conference participants who highlight the peaceful history of cross border cooperation in the foreign north. Even during the Cold War, Cold War, there were agreements on fishing, scientific research, and render herding that continue today. Russia is uneasy about recent NATO exercises that have pushed deep into the north, according to. Timuraz <laughs> Ramishvili, 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 the ambassador to Norway, he told the Guardian the military moderation, modernization on the Russian side was overdue over 20 years of neglect, and its significance should not be overstated. For currently, currently, cargo companies that use the northern shipping lanes need to pay Russia, but this will change as the sea ice recedes and Arctic routes open up in international waters. China, which has declared itself a near Arctic nation, is among the countries exploring this area. Last year, it launched a second Snow Dragon icebreaker and released an Arctic white white paper that explored the potential for infrastructure investments in a polar silk road. The U.S. by, conspiracy, by comparison is lagging behind. Although its nuclear submarines have operated under the ice for decades, its surface navy is ill-equipped for the Arctic. Everyone's up there but us, the Navy Secretary Richard Spencer complained last month. The threat is back on. This is an area we need to focus on, he said. Spencer has called for a strategic Arctic port in Alaska and U.S. naval vessels to conduct navigation operations later this year in northern shipping lanes so they have the capacity to conduct emergency operations if necessary. Can you imagine 
a carnival line cruise ship having a problem, and the Russians do the search and do the extraction, he said. The prospect of a U.S. warship sailing near Russia's vast northern border would certainly amplify amplify unease, unease as well. I'm, I keep having a look at the screens going black. Unease as well as highlighting the geopolitical challenges caused by global heating. It's important for the U.S. to project military strength, but there should be no intention to be unduly provocative, she told the conference. The problem, she said, was that the White House had not updated its strategies to deal with a fast-changing region. Under this administration, we are not assigning a significant priority to our role as an Arctic nation. There is a void, she said. The false narrative of this conference is that Arctic countries are doing sustainable development, said Martin Somercorn, head of conversation of the WWF Arctic Programming. You can't, you can't say that just days after you grant 83 new licenses. That's completely wrong. And then, I guess I'll just read this. It says, as 2019 begins, we're asking readers to make a new... Yeah, right, never mind. <laughs> that was by uh, donating to these people. Um... Jeez, guys. Real quick, just to, just had to throw this out to real quick. If you think fair porn ain't put on mainstream media, then look at that. When you see these, you have cancer. So I guess she had an itch on her back. Maybe she's a little bump. It's cancer now. Then you go to the doctor. Then you go to the doctor until you got a rash. You pay, you get up and you gotta go buy cream, you end up losing an antibiotic cream, you end up losing $250. Because you read something on here, fear porn pushed on mainstream media, they do it all the time. It's a hustle. Conspiracies, conspiracy theories, difference. Conspiracy theories is a big time hustle, million dollar industry. Just know that, just keep that in mind. So you have to stay open minded, you have to do every side of it. And the main thing, don't be paranoid. Be prepared, not paranoid. Don't, don't, don't be in fear, be prepared. Be aware. Okay, guys, last one I'm going to add in here um, until I get home, and I'm going to upload. I'm going to export the Chemtro video, uh, add a little a couple subtitles and stuff like that, just that, that, that normal stuff. I'm going to put them all together, upload that, and uh, then we'll see you guys tonight. I might do Operation Popeye today, too. So, Michael Conan, subpoena by Senate Intelligent Committee. The move comes after Cohen. Delayed his health testimony due to what his attorney said were threats against his clients, mainly from Trump and his lawyers. Now, if you guys remember, I put out the video yesterday where he gets threatened by, <laughs> he says Trump and his attorney threatened him and his family, you know, allegedly. You know, I don't know how true that is, but anyway, I'm going to read the story. I'm going to X me out. Uh, it is freezing, by the way. So, uh Love you guys. Um, I'm going to exit this picture out. It's going to be the last one. I'm going to upload this. But I'm going to see you guys tonight between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right now, it's already. See how long it takes. It's how much I get interrupted. It's 3.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay? And look at the time when I started this. And, dude, I've been interrupted so damn much. But guess what? The YouTube thing is back up. The algorithm's back. So we're good, baby. I'm back. I'm getting subscribers coming in. Okay, Michael Conan from Senate, President Donald Trump's former personal lawyer, leads federal court after pleading guilty to charges related to lying to Congress in New York. The Senate Intelligence Committee on Thursday subpoenaed Michael Cohen, President Donald Trump's former personal lawyer and fixer, Conan's attorney, Lanny Davis, confirmed to NBC News. The move comes a day after Cohen delayed his public testimony before the House Oversight Committee over alleged ongoing threats against his family from President Trump and members of his legal team. Davis said in a statement Wednesday, Cohen will testify on February 12th, a source with a direct knowledge of matter told NBC News. The Senate Intelligence Committee's Vice Chairman, Virginia Democrat Mark Warner, told reporters on Thursday, Mr. Cohen was 
someone who lied to the committee that got him into the legal jeopardy he started with. He has an enormous number of unanswered questions about Trump Tower and a variety of other items that we need answers to. The committee's chairman, Senator Richard Burr, RN, Republican of North Carolina, declined to comment. A source with a direct knowledge of Cohen's thinking criticizes Senate panel's move as lacking compassion. God bless Elijah Cummings, Adam Schiff, and Jerry Nadler for their compassion for Conan and his family during these crazy times, the source said, referring to the Democratic leaders of key committees in the House. The Senate Select Intelligence Committee, subpoena of Conan, lacks any compassion and exemplifies, exemplifies partisanship and ignores the issue that dominated yesterday's news, which was Conan's concern and fear for the safety of his, of his family. In December, Conan was sentenced to three years in prison for what a Manhattan federal court judge called a vertible smorgasbord. <laughs> never even heard of that, dude. Oh my God, I just did four years in prison. I never heard of that. Of criminal conduct, including making false statements to Congress about the scope and status of a proposed Trump Tower Moscow project. Prosecutors said Conan provided the Senate Intelligence Committee inaccurate information about the project to minimize links between the president and efforts to build a Trump Tower in Moscow and to give the false impression that the project had ended before the Iowa caucuses in February 2016. Davis said on MSNBC's Andrea Mitchell reports Thursday that Conan has to comply with subpoenas and will have reasonable conversations with lawmakers. Davis also said Conan is more than willing to testify before the House committee, but remains concerned about threats to his family. Davis also criticized the president and his personal lawyer, Rudy Giolani, for targeting Conan's relatives <laughs> in interviews. This is a classic mob technique to send a signal to the individual individual who Mr. Trump has called a rat. <laughs> uh, Trump called him a rat for telling the truth, he said. Now that word rat comes directly out of organized crime. It's also a signal to other inmates in a potential prison situation. But the family of Michael Conan has been called out by Donald Trump, Davis said. Once again, he ducks or lies about what he knows he's done, which is to attack a father-in-law and wife as a way of getting to Mr. Conan and that is called witness tampering, obstruction of justice. And that's true. That's, that's, I mean, that's what people do. That's intimidating a witness right there. They're basically trying to scare Conan from going to court to testify. It's, it, around here, it's called intimidating of a witness. Jilani claimed, Jolani claimed Sunday, on CNN's State of the Union that Conan's father-in-law, Fema Schutzerman, might have ties to organized crime and that he was involved in criminal activity with Conan. Last week, Trump reacted to a disputed BuzzFeed report that said he directed Conan to lie in his congressional testimony by making a reference to Conan's father-in-law, who reportedly loaned roughly $20 million to a Chicago cab module who was mentioned in FBI search warrants for Conan. Dude, this is actually like a soap opera. Like, the Trump administration is like a soap opera. I'm not sure if I believe any of this. In a Fox News interview last month, Trump also asked whether Conan might have made a deal to keep his father-in-law out of legal trouble. On Wednesday, Trump told reporters that Conan had delayed his testimony before the House committee because he was threatened by the truth. On Thursday, Davis called Giuliani, mentally unstable, and said he's a prosecutor who would prosecute what he just did, referring to the claims of Giuliani made on CNN. Davis declined to say if Conan's family would pursue legal action against Giuliani, but called on Congress to vote on a resolution of censure to reprimand Trump. You can go after Mr. Conan if that's the design. Because Mr. Conan, Conan's an adverse witness, David said, what do his father-in-law and his wife have to do with anything other than the crime of witness tampering, intimidation, and corrupt intent to try to deter Mr. Conan from telling the truth? And I hope the Senate and the House, they can vote a resolution of censure and Mr. Giuliani can be indicted and 
certainly criminally investigated for doing what he just did. This is prima face a crime to threaten a witness before Congress. Well, guys, you know I put these reports up here because, uh, one, you know, it's news. It could be true. It may be false. And that's for me to decide and you decide. You know, I don't want to uh, influence anyone in believing in something that I'm not sure what I believe in, you know. But it's on us as a team, as a family, to try to put this stuff together. Together. And uh, something tells me there's this...